Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about how I went blonde with relaxed hair. I've done it when I was natural a few times, but this is my first time like going blonde blonde with relaxed hair. I always like to make these hair videos because I can look back and kind of see what I did. I changed my hair up a ton, so it's important for me to know the exact steps of how I went a certain color or what style, how I did a certain style. The person I go to to get my perm, she does hair really nicely. She focuses a lot on healthy hair and not using a lot of heat when I go to her she always puts me under the dryer with like um and does like a roller set she was actually out on medical leave i had to go to the salon that did my blonde when i was natural so if you guys look back a few like a year or two on my channel i did a video on how to go natural with 4b 4c type hair how to go blonde with natural hair so they did that color the first time i did my hair with them i modeled for them so it was free to me the second time it was really fucking expensive and my hair was super short so it shouldn't have been as expensive as it was if you are gonna go blonde no matter how short your hair is you go in and get a consultation first because they try to charge me almost four hundred dollars and i ended up paying a little bit less than that but it was still a ridiculous amount when i went in this was right before my birthday because i remember being in a rush to get my hair done for my birthday because i was coming up to orlando and i wanted it to look like really nice and everything i really wanted the blonde because i was turning 21 and like i needed some pizzazz to my hair i needed some like a little change and i wanted to look really good so i went in and i found this picture on instagram of the exact cut and color that i wanted it looks a little bit different now because my hair has been grown out she was like okay it might not get that blonde but like we can give you some color one of the stylists refused to do color on my hair because I was getting a perm the same day. I never wanted color all the way up to my roots. I only wanted it from like the middle down, which is kind of what I have now. Like I said, it's grown out a little bit, but I never wanted it from my roots, which is what I had when I was naturally got it from my roots to my tip, but I did not want that. I wanted like kind of like a balayage highlights kind of effect, but like a little bit more than highlights. She did a shampoo and condition. She did a gloss protein treatment. She did use um, Olaplex number three in my hair, which I ended up buying from her afterwards. And she also did like this really amazing blunt cut favorite my favorite cut ever on straight hair and it looked so so good my hair was really really short it was probably like that short like right below my ears if you look on my instagram and i'll insert some pictures too she did a really blunt cut and it looked absolutely amazing every time i straightened my hair it was just like very sleek it just always looked good like i had a go-to hairstyle for a while i can't seem to get that same cut and i'm not going back to her because it was just too expensive i will link the salon down below if you guys are in the south florida area that was around april right before my birthday in june i went blonder this time i went in i did not get a relaxer i just got color added or like she lightened the color that i already had but before it was like an orangey brown which i really liked for a while even even though that wasn't the color that I wanted. My hair was still healthy and in good condition. So I was like, okay, like I kind of want to go lighter. Like I kind of want to go blonder. I went to her and she used P Elements P Levels Bleach. And she also, I'm pretty sure she used Olaplex on me. I'm pretty sure she used one through four on me. And then she just straightened my hair, blow dried it put me in roller studs and this time she straightened my hair this is when i didn't like it this is the color that i have now i just feel like my ends look really damaged it could just be me but my hair just doesn't straighten the same so i kind of regret going this light with relaxed hair but i'll also leave her instagram and her salon name down below because she's also in south florida i also feel like she didn't because when you have highlights you kind of have to when you're lightening them you kind of have to match up the with the like original highlights, like the original lines. And I feel like she just did like one color, like saturated. That is basically everything that, did, that I did. My hair didn't fall out because we did use Olaplex, like I said. If you guys have any other questions for me, let me know. I think there's a stigma around dyeing relaxed hair that you can't do it. You definitely can. You just have to take the proper precautions. I would not recommend doing this at home. You need to go to a salon somebody that you know can do hair well make sure you check their instagram make sure you bring a picture with you of something that you want and try to get a picture off their instagram of like the exact thing that you want because that's work that they have done before but yeah that's check out some of my other videos i have tons of hair videos on my channel my instagram so you can see the cuts and styles that i have done in the past will be linked down below and make sure to share this video with anybody else you know that is currently trying to go blonde I'm a rookie in a vet. Shout out to the bitches I ain't on them down the set. Oh Lord, I'm a rookie in a vet. Shout out to the bitches I ain't on them down the set.